The chain rule is often one of the hardest derivative techniques for students to understand. In this video, I'm going to explain the concept and show you how to master this rule through some examples. First, let's go over when you have to use the chain rule. You have to use this rule whenever you are taking the derivative of nested functions. In other words, it has one function inside of another function. This can be written symbolically as f of g of x, as seen here, where g of x is inside the f function. This may be a bit confusing, so here are some examples of nested functions. You can see that in each of these cases, there is at least one function inside of another function. For instance, in this first example, the tangent function is within the ln function. Okay, so what is the chain rule and how do we use it? Returning to our symbolic equation, the chain rule can be written like this. Now this may look confusing, but all that you have to do is take the derivative of the outside function, keeping the inside where it is, and multiply that by the derivative of the inside function. However, that is only for equations where there is one function inside of another. But what happens when there are multiple layers of functions within your equation like this? Fortunately, the process remains the same. All you have to do is take one layer at a time. Take the derivative of the outside function, leaving the entire inside alone, multiplied by the derivative of the next inside function, multiplied by the derivative of the next inside function, and so forth until you run out of layers. Now that we covered the concept, let's do some examples. Let's use one of the equations we saw before. Say we have y equals 4x squared minus 2x all cubed. How do we find the derivative of y? First, let's write out what the layers of this equation are. In this case, our outermost function is the cubic, which I like to literally write as something cubed, as to not forget to leave whatever is inside alone when taking the derivative. Then our inner function is 4x squared minus 2x. Okay, derivative time. For the outer function, if we have anything cubed, the power rule tells us that the derivative is always 3 times that thing squared. Replacing what that inside thing was, we get that the derivative of the outside is 3 times 4x squared minus 2x squared. Then taking the derivative of the inside function, again using the power rule, we get 8x minus 2. Now all we have to do is multiply these two derivatives together since the chain rule is the derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside. As a result, we get that y prime is equal to 3 times 4x squared minus 2x squared times 8x minus 2. Alright, now let's look at a more complex example. Say we want to find the derivative of a function like this. Unlike the last example, this equation has three layers. To reiterate, no matter how many nested functions we have, all we have to do is multiply together the derivatives of all the layers. So for this, let's once again write out what those different layers are. On the outside, we have the entire equation of sine of x cubed plus 6 all squared. Inside of that, we have sine of x cubed plus 6. And inside of that, we have x cubed plus 6. Now let's take the derivative of each of these. First, when you have something squared, the derivative is 2 times that thing. Replacing that something with what it was, we get 2 times sine of x cubed plus 6. Next, taking the derivative of sine of something, we get cosine of that thing. Again replacing that something, we get cosine of x cubed plus 6. Finally, taking the derivative of the third and most inside function, we get 3x squared. Now all we have to do is multiply each of these derivatives together to get the final result 
of y prime equals 2 times sine of x cubed plus 6 times cosine of x cubed plus 6 times 3x squared. No matter how many nested functions you have, just remember, the chain rule is the derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside, and so forth, until you run out of inside layers. Thanks again for watching, and remember, you have big dreams, don't let a class get in the way.